Hello everyone, so we're going to present today the Kepler uh, updates. Kepler is a CNCF sandbox project. Um, we are one of the main developers of Kepler. Uh, I'm Marcelo Moral and she's Sanyan, also known as Peng. We are from IBM Research in Tokyo and we are, have been contributing to the Kepler development for a few years. So we'll start just, you know, with some uh, quick introduction of what Kepler is for the ones that don't know. And the main updates, uh, apart from, you know, bug fix and performance improvements, we have some um, key uh, updates for this year that we're going to introduce this in this short talk. So first of all, what's Kepler? Kepler is a project to measure the energy consumption of process and then aggregate it to containers, pod, and other uh, granularities. So basically, there is no way to measure the energy consumption of process direct to the hardware. There is no counters for that. But we have the energy consumption of components, for example, CPU energy consumption. And the energy consumption is directly related to the resource utilization. So by having the resource utilization of process and the energy consumption of components, we do the calculation and what's the proportional energy use it that was used by some specific process. Uh, to collect the resource utilization, we use the BPF, that is a light uh, um, that introduced low overhead to get the resource utilization for process. And for systems, like that there is no uh, access to the hardware sensors that shows the energy consumption uh, of, of components. We like virtual machines on public cloud. We use pre-trained power, power models that are power models that are being trained, collecting the energy consumption of, um, of some resource and resource utilization in some specific bare metal node. Sorry, uh, we export all this information to Prometheus and then we have also Grafana dashboards that can be visualize the energy consumption of the components, of the application components. Um, the new feature that we have right now is support for uh, um, GPU virtualization, more specifically for the MIG features that is slice the GPU in different uh, partitions. So. The GPU uh, MIG the NVIDIA G M MIG feature does not show the energy consumption per slice. It's the energy consumption for the entire GPU, so that we need power models also for that. So uh, in this case, we collect the power consumption of the entire GPU. We get the resource utilization of each slice and partition this energy consumption between the slice and then associate that to the process that are running on these slice. Um, well, the resource utilization can be defined by different components. Uh, right now, the current implementation is a simple one that only takes into account the tensile cores, but we are planning to extend that. Yeah, now I'm going to pass through. Pass okay, um, in this quarter, we also have an, uh, more than 300 of the CPU power model has been trained using their spec power database. The spec power database is a large uh, power database that contains more than like nine, 900 of the power report. And this report is covered more than 200 of the CPU models from more than 40 of the industry vendors. And we can use this model for the cloud instance that has no access to the power meters or even later, the cloud server that doesn't have the power meter itself. Um, we can use one of these power models that match to the server um, profiles or the specifications. And we can use that to estimate the power models. Oh, sorry, to estimate the power consumptions of the workload. Also, we have our new power model trainings are uh, pipeline. Now we adopt the Tecton pipeline for our power model trainings. And to, when we integrate this Tecton pipeline to the other CI tool like GitHub Actions or Ansible, now we can automate our step starting from setting up the environment for the trainings. We do the collecting, training, and deliver, delivering the power models to the, to the cloud servers that doesn't have the power meter. Um, now we have enabled DCI to 
uh, uh, to collect and train the power model from the cell post are easy to spot instant. Um, this is our available in the Kevlar model server project, so read the QR code to check the project. Um, finally, I would like to uh, introduce our brand new uh, projects in the Kevlar ecosystem. It's called SUSQL, Sustainability Queries for AI Applications. This one is filled the gap between the five grand uh, energy metrics from the Kevlar and the need of the application level of the energy consumption report. Um, we provide the results in the Prometheus, Graphenes, and also you can query from the CLIs too as well. Okay, you can check, uh, again, you can check the uh, QR code for the SUS, our SUSQL operator project. Yeah. Just want to mention here uh, that the key, f the key part of SUSQL is, for example, Kepler, we aggregate energy per containers and pods, and, but the users want to aggregate the energy for different execution of different AI workloads. With, we have like, uh, you know, multiple pods and multiple jobs. And to aggregate that for the lifetime of the application, different training, uh, we can use labels and aggregate the energy consumption based on labels. Um, just want to also, you know, um, uh, say that Kepler, the, uh, the ecosystem has other talks here in the KubeCon this year. There is a, a tutorial that will be on Wednesday at 2.30 and other talks that are related and please come and join us. We also have bi-weekly calls for the community discussion and a Slack channel. And uh, we'll be happy to discuss more about the project with everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you.